Okay. <laughs> The, the most popular brands in the supermarket are two points. <laughs> okay, let's wait just for the rest of the class to rejoin. Yeah. Let's see how hey, hey, very good discuss, teacher. Good yeah, my I'll partner. Hear you. Okay. You. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to check into that one. So uh, who wants to start? I start with Maria Julia talking about the, the most popular brand inside the supermarket are cereal brand, it's Kellogg's. Kellogg's. Kellogg's have uh, many brands, uh, cornflakes, leader sugar, <laughs> sucaritas, <laughs> uh, fruit loop. You, rem you, you, you remember, you remember. <laughs> sugar and uh, choco flakes and uh, uh, tiger Tony Tiger <laughs> <laughs> yes uh, okay. for us uh, this is a, a more popular uh, uh, brand of cereal Kellogg's okay it's, it's, a, it's a good price it's a uh, more popular um, uh, for, for example, different different flowers is, is a presentation is a sucaritas is a choco play fruit is a arrocitos fruit look uh, is a Many, many, many brands is easy for remember. Okay, very good. So yes, those are very popular brands. So can you see that? Uh, I mean, we just say the brands and everybody, everybody. So you just say the name of the brand and everybody knows what is this about. Power Flakes. Good. Oh, perfect. So, uh, any other wants to share? Hey, teacher. With, with Sandra, we were talking about, in general, of the brands yes. we consider are more, more popular. And we are talking about, for example, Café Listo, Musum, Rinso, Suavitel, Colgate. Pot, Huggies, Dog, Perlitas, um, Head and Shoulders. And we're, we were talking about to the, the own brand had Super Selectos. It's, a, it's, it's turning to very popular too. That is true. So actually that brand yes. didn't exist before, right? And all the brands that you mentioned, this is another thing that is very interesting, right? That you are um, aware i mean anybody says anybody says the uh, the brand and you are able to identify to remember uh that brand just because of the name so that is uh, something that we we are able to to do right just to remember just anybody says the name of the brand and uh, you know what is what is that about? Very good. Any other person wants to share? What did you discuss? Yes, teacher. Um, with Victor and Blanca Tunaka, discuss uh, about a lot of a lot of brands in the in the supermarket, but um, uh, identify we are identify uh, for for brands most popular the top the top four uh, the number one for for us is the scott the toilet paper uh, uh, the most popular food uh, the, the, in the in the in the different supermarket is the scott scott for the toilet paper the second product is uh the the very good 
aliment or food, uh, the pollo indio. Uh, I didn't know uh, Blanca told us that pollo indio brand is a Mexican, Mexican, Mexican product. In my, I didn't know that. So yeah, we didn't know too. Uh, the third, the third brand is Colgate. Colgate, the 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 tooth toothpaste, is very very popular in the uh, for the Salvadorians. And the fourth, the fourth brand is brand Salud. Is the milk very 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 popular? Uh, but Victor and uh, Blanca, I don't know if you want. Uh, to mention something about it. Uh, for me, it's in the supermarket. Uh, we, well, well, a lot of people they have a a, a, a brands in in the mind, but uh, well, for me, is bueno we, uh, para el grupo. For, for us is 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 this for brand is uh, it's a good it's a good example okay yeah very interesting right there are many brands so sometimes we don't stop and analyze but there are many brands that are always there right that we believe that are the top quality so it's very very interesting okay any uh, other comments or sharing? Not teacher, but when, when Ramiro told uh, the cereals in, in the in the cornflake, I remember ah yes, this brand is very very popular, and I ate in my breakfast always cereal with milk, but it, a lot of brands in the supermarket. Yes, that is true. So yeah, as I was telling you, sometimes uh, we don't stop and analyze about that one, right? But uh, is that is the way it is. Is uh, there are many brands that we always have, and that we we just mention the name or we just see the colors and we know what that is what we are talking about. Okay, and uh, any other comments? Anybody else wants to share? What did you get here? So this. I go. Okay, go ahead. Okay, uh, with John Robert and I. Uh, I discuss uh, about the, the brand, uh, and I confirm that the Colgate is a brand uh, with a positioning in in our brain, because uh, with me is four people, four person that uh, speak about uh, or detail about, but we uh, discuss with the with the with Juan Roberto. Uh, that this is a uh, a brand uh, more older uh, in the market uh, because uh, I remember that I, I I was a child when I hear about the Colgate and the the um, pasta the, the dientes the toothpaste and. I remember that they had a campaign that uh, give uh, boosted and a little uh, past taste. Uh, uh, but today is a run that have a position in the market uh, is global uh, and diversity diversity of the product because uh, it has um, the uh, mouthwash um, or toothpaste and have tooth, tooth uh, brush and another product. And in El Salvador, in all the world, when the people say Colgate, all people uh, know what is. All people uh, identify, identify, uh, spill that that situation or the product. Sorry, 
can not be uh, complicated for no one uh, that can say what is the product that the Colgate distribute. And it's very easy for all. And I don't know if uh, Juan Roberto want to say anything about. Okay. Yeah, we're talking about the Colgate and these products. Uh, they are very popular because they do a lot of ads and on TV and social media for a long time in Latin America, especially promoting their products with the, the famous <laughs> Dr. Molita. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I remember that one. So, yeah, these brands are very, very popular. Very good. Nice. Any other comments or opinion? Okay, so here we can reflect, right? We can analyze that. I mean, if you are able to recognize all these brands, to remember all these brands, to mention these brands and that other people says, ah, yes, that brand is, is very popular, is because they did everything that we are studying right now. They created loyalty, they created branding, they created marketing strategies. So everybody, we remember, right? So that is it. Good. So let's continue with the book. So how to use expression to clarify. A point. So this is, uh, this kind of topics are very important because these expressions, these words that we're going to learn are things that we are going to use when we are going to write okay writing in english is um not more difficult but they have different rules so whenever you are writing the structure is different the use of the period the use of the articles uh, everything sometimes is kind of different from spanish so uh, this is one of the first classes about writing and we need to consider everything that we're going to check Remember that when we finish the English classes, all the courses, you are going to do a global certification. It's going to be an exam that is going to be uh, valid anywhere in the world. And that is the TOEFL. And one part of the TOEFL is that you have to write an essay. So when you write an essay, these little things are very important. The structure, how you are going to create a paragraph, how is the structure of all the essay, how you present the topic. And those little things, uh, like the one that we're going to learn today, are very important. So we are able to, we are able to express an idea in a very, in a correct way. Okay, so let's check what it says. Uh, let's see. Uh, Carla Alejandra, could you please help me read in the chart? Okay, teacher. Sometimes we need to introduce clarification, the explanation and exemplification of our ideas as we speak. Use in other words, that is to say, simply put, etc., to make your point clear to others. One, one way to help your target market like in trust you is to publish often through online channels. In other words, write a blog that informs, entertains, and educates. Number two, you can increase your rating as an expert and reach a broader market by developing a podcast. That is to say, record your talks and allow your customers to download it. Three, Today's customers are looking for guarantees, simply put, exceptional service after they have purchased their product. Four, another free marketing resource for your current internet customers is inviting them to participate in a social networking site, namely a Facebook group. Five, the ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market think of you. This 
which means that you must focus on satisfying customers' needs. Very good, perfect. So, as you can see, these expressions are there to put together two ideas. Because in the first idea, you have your main idea, and the second one clarifies, gives more clarification about anything. So it says sometimes we need to introduce clarifications, the explanation or exemplification. These are the three main objectives of this, to clarify, to explain, or to give an example of our ideas as we speak. And we can use these expressions. In other words, okay, so this is very, very popular. That is to say in the practices, simply put. And you can see that there are uh, some others like namely. Also we can use namely, that is to give example. Or you can use this or which means. So you can say this means, or you can say which means, okay? So you are explaining more in detail these kind of situations. So the example says, one way to help your target market like and trust you is to publish often through online channels. In other words, write a blog that informs, entertains, and educates. So in other words, it's like giving you like clarification. In the number two, you can increase your rating as an expert and reach a broader market by developing a podcast. That is to say, record your thoughts and allow your customers to download. So again, we are clarifying what we are, what is the meaning of that? Uh, what is a rating? Do you know what is rating? It's una escala. Very good. It's like when you put in order, right? Ascending or descending, something like a top five. And, and brother, do you know what is brother? Okay, when we say brother, it's like uh, de una manera más amplia. Something like that. O eh, ingresando a, a más facilidad, something like that. Uh, what is developing? Desarrollando. Very good. And the other one, uh, podcast. What is a podcast? Una grabación que queda de un, una entrevista o o algo que estuvieron hablando y queda para poder hacer referencia de ella. Excuse me, talking in Spanish, is a podcast, is a live, and the broadcasting uh, is a record. Perfect. So that is, it's a broadcast. It's like a streamline that you will be able to, to listen to later on. Right? Uh, the other example says, today's customers are looking for guarantees Simply put, exceptional service after they have purchased your product. Okay, so we can use that expression as well. The next one says another free marketing resource for your current internet customers is inviting them to participate in a social networking site, namely a Facebook group. So namely is like, for example, okay. And uh, what is current? Do you remember what is current? Actualizar. To actual, very good. Algo actual, very good. Uh, and the last example says, the ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market think of you. This means, or which means, that you must focus on satisfying customers' needs. So that is like clarifying it. Uh, do you have any questions about these expressions? Teacher, 
yes yeah. this word in, in in more in more black is are are, are, are connectors they are kind of connectors uh, but the problem is that in english we have different kinds of connectors so for example we have and so you have but that is to contrast and the other one is to put together two similar ideas so I in this case uh, to continue the idea exactly so these the ones that we're checking today uh, uh, they are for you to clarify or explain or give example so if you want to do any of these three things you can use any of the expressions that we're checking right now okay thank you teacher you're welcome. Any other questions? Teacher, yeah. would you please me explain the the word simply put, please, because I don't understand very well. Um, this is like when we say poniéndolo de manera simple. Something Thank like you, that. teacher. You're welcome. Any other questions? Excuse me, teacher. Yes. Name only is uh, nombrar. Something like that. Uh, es, es como cuando dice, por ejemplo. Solo que nosotros en español casi siempre decimos, por ejemplo. But in English, there are many ways that you can use that one. So, namely, in Spanish, we don't use. But namely, is like, for example, for all, well, when, when you say, por nombrar algo, and then you give the example. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay, so now we're going to do the exercise number seven. Insert an expression to clarify a point in the following sentences. Add the necessary punctuation to join the clause and a phrase together. So as you can see, for example, here, we have comma, right? And then here we have comma. And here we have comma. And here actually we have two commas, right? Also here, okay? Also here, right? Two commas here. So, this is very important. Only this one is the one that it doesn't have a, a comma, but the rest of them have two commas. So punctuation is also very important. So by now we're going to, I'm going to give you a few minutes for you to finish this exercise, okay?
Okay, so let's check. The first one is already there. It says one way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising. So there, as you can see, we are going to delete the period and we're going to enter or insert comma, simply put, for example, I mean, it can be any other, or this means comma, Social networking sites. So uh, that is the correction. So the number two, who wants to share number two? Number two, teacher. Okay. Uh, brand reconnect, recognition. Recognition. It's, recognition is a very important element of brand awareness, comma, which means comma, the consumer knows that a particular brand exists. Perfect. That is simply perfect. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Number three, who wants to share number three? Uh, me, teacher. Number three, brand recognition happens when a customer, consumer is able to identify a certain product of service that is by viewing the product logo. Okay, yeah, you can say that one. That means by viewing the product logo and the commas, right? You need to remember the commas. Comma, that means comma. Very good. Very good, that's nice. Number four, who wants to share number four? Number four, teacher. Okay. These brands have become well known, comma, namely, comma, they have replicated the common terms for similar product in our language. Okay, very good. So with the commas, that is very, very, very nice. And the last one, who wants to share the last one? Nobody. Anybody wants to share number five? Number five. Good. You have to publish high quality content. In other words, by creating bad valuable content to be introduced to new audiences very good so uh quality content comma and then the example and then very good perfect do you have any questions with the exercise or any vocabulary word All the last uh, last paragraph, and I I know don't hearing what is the competition the composition uh, after. Of yeah, it's going to be for example a content comma, and then you can say in other in other words comma by creating valuable content to be introduced to new audiences, something like that. So the expressions, they can in interchange. You can use any of these expressions and it's going to be correct. Uh, very important, the commas and where you are going to sell those. This is the, 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 the point is, uh, this case uh, is the use of the, um, the comma for Right, the, the words. Yeah, the commas, the punctuation is very important, and also the uh, the expressions that we are talking about. Okay. 
Good, perfect. Any other questions? For me, not teacher. Good. So, let me just check here. Okay. So now we are going to do free practice. Okay. Uh, let's discuss about some things. We have kind of time and let's check how it goes. Uh, let's speak everybody. So, for example, a question for everybody. How do you believe is going to be the future? How is going to be the world in 30, 40 more years? What do you think is going to happen in the future? This is a, a personal question, teacher. It, uh, I think, I think in three, four or five years, uh, in, in the future, um, I will, I will, um, I wish, I wish to have um, maybe not a, a company, a big company, but uh, a personal emprendimiento entre entrepreneurship entrepreneurships yes uh, for me is is a a, a a a good a good wish in the in the future um yes teacher mm -hmm. okay and entrepreneurship so uh, and do you think it's going to be uh, what kind of company is the one that you believe that you well, what would you like to have? Yes, yesterday, teacher, in the in the in the homework in 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 the class yesterday, uh, I mentioned to the the coffee cup. Uh, for me, this is a, a good a good example. And I I will I will I will see. Yo me veo, yo me veo en los, in the, in the next, in the, in the next year. Okay, a franchise is the one that you would like to have. Yes, teacher. Okay, interesting, very good. Okay, any other opinion? Uh, how do you believe it's going to be the world in the future? Uh... I like in the future uh, have a very health and the um, enjoying my uh, grandchildren and enjoy uh, the life uh, and have uh, the the uh, I don't know say the uh, retirado o jubilado in, in English. Yeah, get retired. Retire. Retire is a complete, uh, uh, complete uh, the former life. Yeah, I believe that that would be a very good thing, right? If uh, we are retired and uh, you have your own things. Uh, imagine that you are retired, Ramiro. What would you do in all that free time? Uh, what do you, uh, I I do all days? Uh, I try the the keeping of um, uh, making something <laughs> for no. Uh, uh, is is definitive the definitive no making anything i think is everything is necessary to making uh, um, something to be active right yes i very active it's a it's a impossible uh, stay the no making anything <laughs> that is true 
I truly believe that uh, we always have to be active. Uh, myself, for example, if I get retired, probably I will read a lot of books I really like to read. Uh, probably I will watch a lot okay. of movies and probably I will play video games. I would like to do that <laughs> if I had a time. Hey, it's so. very nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, amazing. But I don't know if we're going to get there, but hopefully. <laughs> this yeah, a few years. Hopefully. Very good. Perfect. Anybody else wants to share how is going to be the world in the future? Meet chef. Okay. Um, in my case, uh, I try uh, to make the uh, decision for uh, I have a uh, opportunity to the create the create my my work independent is for service for for service uh, the account is um um accessory uh, accessory as so advisor is um yeah is is a uh, It, it, for me, it's difficult. Eh, es como difícil. Eh, difficult for me is um, not. Eh, eh, ya no ser eh, employ, employers. No be employee. No be employee. Is a. Is a. Um, uh, the change for me is a uh, if 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 a uh, opportunity y, eh, que no la debo dejar de pasar no la debo dejar pasar entonces ah, okay. uh, pero estoy ahí all right so you want to have your own business and not being an employee anymore. that is a very good thing very nice and uh, yeah, if you have the experience and you have the resources, probably that is going to be a very good. It is a new experience. Is a uh, for me. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you. Anybody else wants to share? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I I don't know if I understood uh, your question, but. I I think in, in thirty or forty years later, uh, I can imagine a stage like a Terminator, uh, when because uh, the technology is rising up uh, very fast, and the artificial intelligence is it's increasing so fast. And I don't know, I think that the old people is uh, is working very hard to create some, some machinery uh, uh, and, and a lot of things in, in technology. And I think, and, and I can imagine in 40 years, that we are going to driving flying cars and and uh, maybe we are we are going to to live in a capsula como se dice en inglés a capsule capsule because mm -hmm. all the uh, our environment is uh, is um, a lot of uh, pollution and I don't know. It, I think uh, it's very interesting to think about maybe not 40 years, maybe 100 years, 100 years because uh, the technology is in, uh, está creciendo exageradamente rápido y creo que I think uh, it's going to be very interesting to, to see that. Um, that's it. 
Very good, perfect. So you mentioned many things that are so. Uh, yeah, technology is moving very, very fast. Actually, nowadays you can do many things. Uh, there are people that they have flying cars already, right? Uh, they are like drones. Uh, of course, they are very expensive. So, but probably in the future, it's going to be affordable for everybody. Um, another thing that is interesting right now, have you ever seen those 3D printings where you can print objects? Yeah. 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 Those are very, it's very amazing. good. Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. And it's, a, I don't know, it's another thing. It's something very, very good. Um, and yes, the technology is going to uh, move very fast. Uh, and probably we're going to have, I don't know, I, I don't know who is going to be the cell phones in 30 years. Mind that, uh, what they will be able to do. Yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, that is something that I, I was asking myself once. And also the computers, for example, I was reading that uh, very in the near future, um, computers are going to be like servers are going to be very powerful so you will be able to to have a lot of power in the computer and uh, run softwares that are very good so many things are happening but what about uh well, any other comment on that it's, for this comment in the oseas mention uh, is the other generation in the four or five uh, years later. Yeah, so it's going to be very interesting. I mean, um, a lot of things are happening already. We have electric cars, we have, I mean, lots of crazy things. And also science is moving on because, I mean, they now we know many things about the universe that we didn't know. 50 years ago, let's say. Yeah, so the technology like, changed very fast. Yeah, very, very fast. So a lot of things are going to happen. And also in, in health, for example, I was reading this week that the World Health Organization, they expect that by 2030, uh, they are going to eradicate AIDS. In mind, that is crazy. So maybe cancer, I don't know. So they are going to cure many things. Good, good. Any other comments? How do you think it's going to be the future? Like in the movies, teacher. I don't know if you have the opportunity to, to watch a series that named Hawaii Five O. I haven't, to be honest. Is that uh, tell me more about? But, but in this area, the investigators have like a table that is very, very actual, in like in the future, and they drag the like at that table, and they like uh, bueno, la, como que la la ¿cómo le digo? Así la pone así como, como un holograma. Oh, yeah. Entonces, I think it, it will be something like that. And and I think there is no will be catch. All the transactions maybe will be electronic and digital, everything. The money, as we know, I think it will be. We, we can, we... No, vamos a poder tocar ya dinero en efectivo. I think. Okay. Okay, very good. Yes. Uh, probably that is going to happen. So there are many things that are going on. I mean, nowadays you can buy a refrigerator with TV and Wi-Fi. Right? That is something that is possible right now. Why am I going to buy a TV inside of the refrigerator? I don't know. Right? But people can do that. So it's possible. And what you're saying is also interesting about uh, money. Yeah, I believe that that is going to happen. I believe that the economy is going to change in the world. Uh, it's also kind of dangerous because uh, it's going to be the transactions about not real money, but money that is digital that you 
have that in your wallet or uh, the applications. But how everybody knows that you have the money, I mean, it's going to be kind of dangerous as well, right? The, the, the other things that in the future, three, four or five years, is possible uh, to watch uh, the 15 ver version of the Fast and Furious movie. <laughs> yeah, probably. That is the, I have seen some memes about that. So they're very old. Uh, 15 uh, or 16 version. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they I don't know. It's kind of crazy, right? They are into space in mind. That's that's crazy. Very good. So, but what about the bad things? Because yes, technology is going to move, and we're going to have uh, a lot of information, uh, a lot of good gadgets. But what do you think is going to happen in the bad way for the world? In the bad bad way. Yeah. So, for example, uh, go ahead, Kathy. Oh, I think it uh, more control for uh, over the people. I think definitely that is going to happen nowadays. I mean, uh, I I I believe that I discussed that in another class. Nothing is for free. Nothing, right? So, if you download an application that says that it's for free, it's not true because they are getting your information. Everything that you do is valuable because they identify patterns. They identify what you want, uh, how much money do you have, uh, what did you dislike, and then they can put ideas. I mean, I believe that everybody has done that one. You're speaking about cats with your friend, and then when you go to your cell phone, appears the cats, right? Because technology is like that one. They are trying to get, and there are a lot of algorithms that are, are configuring these kind of things. Uh, and it's good because, I mean, you are able to find what you are looking, but it's also not good because the companies, they are getting all your information right? uh, and they know, maybe they know more of you than yourself. So that is dangerous. Very good. Yes, this is dangerous. Uh, I think that teacher in 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 the in the same line, uh, the virus increased like a, like a COVID. Yeah, probably there will be more uh, sickness. I believe that have always been some sicknesses in the world, right? Sometimes there are things that we don't care. I mean, for example, the chicken pox. Do you know what is the chicken pox? Chicken, chicken box. Chicken box. I don't know, teacher. Box. Okay. The chicken box is la viruela. So ah, okay. I, I read, for example, that that sickness is coming back. I don't know. I mean, uh, before, if you get a vaccine, no problem, right? But uh, this is another problem that I believe is going on. That the truth is changing, right? In the society right now that we have, uh, the perception is more important than the reality. And that is a good example. Some people, they believe that the vaccines are not good. Do you know what is vaccine? Vacuna. Vacuna. So there are people that they say, we are not going to put vaccines to our kids. They are very bad. Maybe it's true in some situations. I don't. I don't know. I mean, many things happen, but that is going to that is going to cause that all their sicknesses that in the past disappeared are coming back, right? Uh, and it's because of that. One. Yes, I know that the governments they do bad things uh, and many other things. But it's one one thing is that they play with our money or our beliefs or political things. And another thing is that you don't 
take care of yourself with the technology that we already have. So that is a big problem. Just to check the, the other the other thing is that climate climate change uh, will be most dangerous for us. That is so true. I mean, this year I remember that for the hot days, oh, it was crazy. I mean, there were days that you, I mean, I remember that in the office, you know, we have air conditioning and everything was fine. But on Saturdays, when I go out, sometimes I remember that on Saturdays around 11, it was so, uh, so hot that I was not able to breathe very well. And that is crazy. And the real problem is that nobody is doing anything, right? People, they meet, the governments, they meet, but nothing happens. I mean, it's like, yeah, it's a problem. It's dangerous. And, yeah, but we are going to do anything about it. I mean, nobody does anything. And they, I was reading, uh, just for you to be careful, I was reading that since uh, this year is the transition from La Niña to El Niño, that is a climate a figure, next year is going to be harder. They say that next year we are going to break some records in hot around the, the world. The news, the news mentioned that it is coming to the super niño in, in, my... a, in, 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 a, in, a, in, a, in the next month. Yes. So next year we need to be ready. I'm gonna put some air condition here because I don't, I don't want to be like that. It's very expensive. But now it's necessary, right? It's, it's like a car. Now having a car is not a, it's not a, a, a luxury. It's something necessary, right? It's necessary. It's very necessary. So in the future, I believe that it's going to happen. And next year, we need to be careful. Because in Europe, for example, I was reading that this year, they evacuate people because of the hot. I imagine how crazy that one. Not because of the water, or floods, or an earthquake. It's because of the hot. And as I was telling you, the real problem is that nobody is doing anything. Right? It's like the, the society. The society needs to adapt to this change. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. Crazy, right? The world, I mean, it's good, but it's also bad, right? Uh, many bad things are going on right now. Uh, for example, I was thinking that when I was a kid, that probably at this time, in the 20, 20 something, maybe we are not going to have wars anymore. But people, the governments, they want money, they want power, they want many things. And worse, we still have worse. And probably in the future, it's going to be worse right? because they are going to have different kinds of weapons. So good things are coming. Bad things are coming, right? We need to be ready for that. Yes, teacher. And also the economy is another thing. Another crisis. For example, in Argentina, Argentina is crazy. I mean, they have a situation that is very, very ironic. And the real problem is that now we we know that everything affects everybody. My my brother visit visited Argentina in the in the last month, and he mentioned mentioned that. Uh, the the for 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 one dollar uh, have uh, seven hundred uh, peso Argentine peso and in the next week for one dollar have eight hundred Argentine pesos. Different is very very difficult for the Argentine people, and for the tourists. Okay. Yeah, definitely that is not good. It's very difficult, and the problem is that one. I mean, one country has a crisis, but that affects 
everybody. And then the gasoline gets crazy. For example, right now with the war in Ukraine, the gasoline is very, very expensive. And that affects us here in El Salvador, right? We don't care about Europe, but has consequences for everybody, right? And a very good example on that one is the pandemic. I mean, you can say, for example, I mean, I don't care about a Chinese person having bad soup in the other side of the world in China. I don't care about that one. But that causes a lot of problems. A lot of people die because of that little person having a soup. Just that changed the world. A lot of people died, the economy changed, a crisis got developed. So we are connected. Everybody's connected, right? Very good, very nice conversation. So now we're going to check the attendance because it's time to go to bed. Let's see, Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. I'm here. Good. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Good. Eric Enrique Reyes Martínez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Good teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Present. Good. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. Jose Alfredo Hueso López. Present, teacher, present. Good. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Present teacher. Mónica Wendy Ávalos Girón. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present teacher. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Present teacher. Good. Roberto Carlos Avilés Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Present teacher. Good. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present teacher. Good. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Present. Good. Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present, teacher. Very good, perfect. So, uh, the one on one night for Monica and the rest. So, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Rest very well and dream in English. Thank you. Good, yeah. good night. Rest a lot, teacher mm -hmm. and partners. Yes, good night. You too. Have good a night. nice night. Good night. Hello. Excuse me, teacher. Good night. Ah, uh, good night. Okay. No worries. Hello, Monica. Hello. Hello.